What's up everyone? Welcome back. Today I've got some acoustic foam panels here that I'm going to be reviewing for you, but mainly I'm going to be explaining to you why I chose these and some of the reasons why you're seeing some bad reviews, not just with these, but with others. And it's going to be really important and informative for you. So stay tuned. Let's get into it. All right. So I grabbed these ones right here and I have another set of different variations. You'll probably find so many on Amazon, but these here are great. I'm using them right now in my studio that I'm building. I'll show you that in a second as well. But these are 12 by 12 and they're two inches thick. And I picked these over some of the others just because they were thicker. I like the design and they're really soft compared to some of the other ones. They don't feel as, uh, I guess, cheap, if that's uh, the way to put it. Taking a closer look at these acoustic foam pads here, you'll see that that mushroom design sort of gives you like angles, almost like a small diamond here. It's rounded here flat on these edges you can see it does have that open middle which still has about an inch of thickness there so a close up of the sides as well you can see how thick it really is and on the back side so it's just a flat back you can do whatever you want with this you can glue them on you can use some double-sided tape i've even used staples at times just to keep them on a board and then i've kind of mounted the board on the wall it's totally up to you and what you want to do all right so this is what i built here and it has a lot of those foam panels in it along the side along the other side there as well as on top i do have some of the other panels like this just for design and i wanted to create something here but mainly these are the ones that are going to be working for me so as you can see i have them on the wall i just used some double-sided tape i actually stapled some parts as well that were just not sticking for whatever reason. It is plywood on the outside here, so that's why. But basically, this is giving me a completely soundproofed room here that I can use. Now, like I said, I really like this design. So you've got one inch here and one inch here, so it's a nice thick panel, whereas these ones right here, you can see they are thick, but in the middle, like in this little crack here, it seemed to be a little bit less Padded. It just feels like you're almost touching the wood where these when you go in the middle You've still got like a full inch of padding and it seems like a stronger padding. It may not be It's just how I feel it and when it comes to the bad reviews not just from this brand But any of these acoustic foam brands It's not the fault a lot of the times of the product because the product does ship out like this It's flat and it's in a vacuum sealed bag you know, that's going to help with the shipping costs. Obviously, if they kept them flated like fully, it would be a huge box and it would be so much more money for everybody who's buying. So they come like this and they have instructions. You're supposed to submerge these in water, fully submerge them, and then you want to wring them out. You can do this. You wring them out like this and really get all that water out and do it, you know, one, two, three times, whatever you want. Just get them submerged in water. I left some of them outside and I actually threw some of them in the dryer. I did it on the lowest setting. And uh, I didn't really have any issues. I can show you though, right here, the dryer will kind of, you know, give you a little bit of messed up edges if it does get too hot. It is foam, so keep that in mind. Also, if you're planning to glue them, make sure you have a glue that's not going to eat away at foam. So it's very important you know what you're going to be doing with this. But it's not just these that come this way. Every pair that I've bought, whether it's this brand, the little triangular brands, they all come flattened like that and that's mainly what i see in the comments that they didn't inflate they didn't come back out and it's all about getting them submerged in water and if it doesn't come out the first time do it again it's a process here but you get these nice thick acoustic foam 12 by 12 squares that will definitely help with soundproofing your space now i didn't just use this for my little portable studio that i built there I actually have this in a real office too i put some panels on the wall in different places like this and it works to help deaden the sound, especially if you have open rooms without carpeting on the ground and you kind of just need it to get rid of that echo. These are great to do that. So if you are in the market for some good acoustic foam pads, these are what I use and they might be for you.